and fire that tore through a home in Peoria and left two people in the hospital with severe burns. And tonight, for the very first time, we sit down with one of the victims of that blast, Erica Flores, joining us now live with that story. Erica? That's right. This is Tiara Del Rio and Bo Zimbro. They're a young couple who have been through a lot, and they say they're trying to work to get back to the life they had before this explosion. If we could survive through this, if we could survive through pretty much anything, I think. It's been more than three months since the explosion. To tell you the truth, I didn't think I'd make it. But Bo Zimbro did more than that. He also helped his girlfriend, Tiara Del Rio, out of the burning home. I remember throwing her out of the blown out wall, and then I got my feet caught on some nails, and I had to unhook them to get out. And and I picked her back up again and we made it out to the street. The couple was inside this home when Del Rio says she lit a candle and it exploded in her face. And soon Zimbro was on fire too. Being set on fire, you hear the sizzle and you feel your skin and your hair and everything burn. And the sizzle won't go away. And that's where you got two options. You thinking you're going to die or. You get a chance out. And Both Del Rio and Zimbro were in medically induced comas so that doctors could treat the wounds. When Zimbro woke up, he says his first thought was Just in awe. Yeah, she's still there. I'm still here. We're both still here. Over 50% of Zimbro's upper body was burned. But today, he's being released from the Arizona Burn Center, but will continue rehab. To know that he's coming home, I. The day I've been waiting for. Del Rio was discharged earlier this month. Firefighters say the cause of the explosion appears to be a gas line broken during a remodeling project. And coming up at 5:30, we'll explain the new procedure that doctors used on Del Rio and Zimbro. I'm reporting live, Erica Flores, 3 TV. Uh, he nearly lost his life when his home exploded. Now it's been months. And a Peoria man is finally out of the hospital. The blast left the victim and his girlfriend with severe burns that were very nearly deadly. Erica Flores has more on the man walking out of the burn unit, a medical miracle. Without them, I wouldn't be right here. Bo Zimbro says thanks to the firefighters and his doctors, he's sitting here today. Stuff you got to go through with a burn accident is extremely painful. Um, not only emotionally and physically, both of them, extremely. He says his family and his girlfriend, Tiara Del Rio, have helped him through the emotional pain. It's real tough because there's days I just, I was glad to lose it and I, I can't handle it. And then there's other days I can. His doctor, Kevin Foster, says Zimbro has had complications, blood clots, a heart and lung infection. The fact that he had a really bad inhalation injury and his wounds were a little bit deeper than, than most people that we see, I think that he's probably a little bit ahead of the curve. Doctors used a skin spray called Recell to treat his burns. Our federal government gave us approval to do that, and we did it, and it was a huge success in both of them. Zimbro says he hopes more burn patients can benefit from Recell. They can try it out on me, and it works great, and it can help and save other people's lives. Awesome. And Zimbro's girlfriend was discharged from the Arizona Burn Center earlier this month. She's going to rehab, and Zimbro will continue rehab as well. Back to you.